Hi everyone, just wanted to make a quick video on how I'm doing the uh, cocking joints and uh, so this is a final product this is all stained and uh, cocked so what I'm doing is I'm installing back a rod on the uh, gaps larger than one eighth. Becker rods come in different sizes from uh, from like three eighths up to inch inch and a half, I think. And I'm taping where I want my cock to be at. This gives me a sharp look when I uh, take the tape off as soon as I uh, apply caulking. In this case, I'm using uh, NP1 uh, Master Seal. I just caulked this side right here. This is not stained yet. And then I will caulk uh, these connections where trim meets uh, wall with a different, uh, different caulking. And after all that's done, I'm in, uh, applying stain. So, just uh, wanted to share how I'm doing uh, the caulking to achieve sharp look and, uh, and how it looks. Uh, I'm using a spoon as a tool to smooth the caulking as soon as I apply caulking onto the joint I will smooth it out with a spoon and then and then take the uh, tape off I'm in the process of uh, doing that all the way out to there to the corner doing in sections so that uh, I don't the caulking doesn't get uh, too dry for me to peel the tape off because once it skins and if uh, you spoon it uh, not very good or the tape is uh, a little bit behind caulking in other words sometimes the caulking gets on the tape and when you uh, peel the tape off it uh, creates those burrs and doesn't look too good so cannot uh, wait for too long to uh, to take uh, the tape off and uh, I'm doing all those windows just like uh, what the uh, manufacturer requires a 3 8 gap and I'm using 5 8 becker rod in there uh just like that tape the window tape the trim and uh, put some caulking in there and of course back around caulking spoon it make it smooth take the tape off and it looks pretty good i've got some weeps at the top this is so that uh, uh if any water gets inside it can come out this wall is done as it's a siding so i have a gap and i have a rain screen behind the uh, one by 12s i have a gap at the bottom so if any water for some reason uh, and it will get there as a condensation and stuff it will come out from this gap i'm not caulking that the other side this side is different so i'm uh, caulking pretty much everything I don't want any moisture get inside because this is a uh, 6 by 12 logs. Uh, the only spot where I won't be caulking is under this trim. And just like if it gets any, any water, if the window uh, leaks or something is wrong with the window, if there's some caulking on the on the uh, window bottom pan flashing 
it has a way out and I have a, about an eight gap there so if it gets there it does come out I don't want it trapped and you don't want to well if you guys are interested uh, I can uh, uh, record some uh, specifics and uh, I will make a more detailed video on how I'm doing that and I'm sure you have a different way of uh, caulking and if you're interested just uh, like me <laughs>